All right, I wanted to talk a little bit about truth tables. A couple of folks have been emailing me asking me some questions about them. So let's look at the truth table for not P and Q or Q. Here's how truth tables work. First of all, you want to break the truth table into a bunch of sections. The very last section is going to be the part that you're interested in solving. That's going to be your overall truth statement. Then you break it into pieces that involves. The first piece is always P or Q, and these are always filled in in the exact same way, and I want you to notice the pattern. The pattern is this. You want to get all possible combinations of true or false for both P and Q. So for P, well, if there's four possibilities, I do two, true twice and false twice. And then what could I get for the combination of P or Q? I could get true and true, or I could have true and false. If P was false, well, Q could either be false and true, or I could have false and false. Next, you break each piece of your statement down into its parts. And the first interesting part here is P and Q. The AND operator is telling me that I want to talk about when both of them are true together. So true and true, that gives me a true statement. But AND requires both parts to be true to be true. So if it's true and false, that's false. If it's false and true, that's false. And if it's false and false, that statement is false as well. And you can go back into your book and look at the logic statements that you're dealing with. Then I have the NOT operator. The NOT in negation, all it does is take whatever is inside the parentheses here and flip it. So true becomes false, and all these falses become true. Lastly, this is the OR operation. And what it's going to do is it's going to look at this first part in front of it, or it's going to look at the second part, which is just the Q column. If either one of them is true, then the OR operation will become true. So I have false or true. I get a true statement. I have true or false. At least one of them is true, so it gets to be true. I have true or true, and that's going to give me true. And I'm going to have true or false. Again, there is at least one true. That gives me true. So I finally have this truth table. And that's how all truth tables work. You're going to have your statement. You're going to grab some pieces of it. You're going to work out what those pieces are. And keep in mind, your P and Q columns here, these are always going to be the exact same thing. 